Welcome back in the Honda 5 Sports Live. I'm Theo Dorsey of ESPN 106.3. Howard Schnellenberger was on the sidelines for hundreds of football games in his career. While his resume has plenty of accomplishments to brag about, Coach Schnellenberger impacted those around the game in more ways than wins and losses. Howard Schnellenberger was not going to change in any era. He was not going to change for any person. He was not going to change for any player. He had the Howard Schnellenberger way, and that was the only way. That way was filled with grand visions, visions that were ultimately accomplished at Miami. The first meeting that Howard Schnellenberger had with his team, he told us that we were going to win a national championship. And it was not a suggestion. It was not an option. It was not a philosophy. That's what we were going to do, was win a national championship. The only variable was time. It didn't matter if it was a national title at Miami or an on-campus stadium at Florida Atlantic. Coach Schnellenberger was going to accomplish what he set out to do. One thing he always said to the young people, he said, if you want to go to an FSU, or you want to go to the University of Florida or Miami, you'll be part of something that has great tradition. If you come here with us, you will be the beginning of the tradition. That tradition was left no matter where he went in his career. Getting to know Coach Schnellenberger showed you a different side of him. Being a fan of college football growing up and, and throughout my career, you know, everyone knows who Howard Schnellenberger is. Um, but then you come here and you go into his office, and um, I, I guess you're taken aback a little bit with just how kind of a human being he is. If you ever bumped into Coach in Palm Beach County, his owl pride would be on full display. And I guess I never really understood, um, you know, a, a piece of his soul is, is in Florida Atlantic University. That FAU pride never stopped being on display, even after he was no longer on the sidelines. I remember winning the bowl game, the Boca Bowl, and he's right there next to me, you know, with trophy presentation. That, that, that was really cool for me. And I, and I would like to think it was really special for him because, you know, that that's the program he created. It's like, you know, seeing your kid graduate college or something. His legacy is one that will always be a part of Florida Atlantic history. As a football coach, that's one of the things you you want to be able to accomplish over over your years of coaching. You want to win. He won ball games, bring coaches along, and and then you want to help the young people. And he did a great job at, at, at all of those things. So we're gonna to see to it that uh, we make his vision a reality here at FAU. And in the end, remembering coach for just one thing won't be an easy task. He was a football guy. You know, he was just, you knew that he was passionate about it so the kids could feel it, I'm sure. Like I felt when he was, you know, what, lower 80s when I was there. And he always told them, which really impacted me tremendously, this is not his team. This is your team to the players. Just watch him do his magic. You know, Miami doesn't win that championship without him. And FAU doesn't have that stadium without him either.